morning guys it's saturday and we've been in the house since monday it's saturday morning i'm making some tea and then we're going to be going to storage and you guys can go with us and see the storage room <laughs> not that you necessarily want to see it but that's where we're going um i actually put a picture of my cups on instagram the other day because a fan had sent us this cup from london and england and i absolutely love them i use them every single day and now I actually want to collect Starbucks mugs and I felt bad because I could have bought one in New York and Philadelphia and Pencil well, Pennsylvania or, you know, Lancaster and all the islands I've been to and I don't have any. So I I'm going to start doing that as a new thing. What I do with my tea is I use this Zena's Gypsy Tea Caramel Apple. And it comes in bags like this. It smells so good. And I put two in here. It took me a long time to figure out the right measurements okay so it didn't taste too weak or anything but this is a pretty big cup you know it's not as small as the regular coffee cups but it's not one of those super giant ones naturally caffeine free so it's roibos which is the red tea blended with ripe apples and creamy caramel and it is natural and it is yummy but they didn't just taste quite full enough on their own so i put some black tea in here and we had gotten these containers from that spice company in Disney Springs a long time ago. You're not supposed to let your tea be exposed to air or light because it ruins it. So that's why I like keep it in there. Um, I got this at Tivana years ago. I put, so I put the two tea bags in there. I put this on top. I put a spoonful, yeah, good old spoonful of black tea in there. Then I have agave, which is what I use as a sweetener. And I put a spoonful of that in there like that right there and then I put my hot water in and I let it sit for five minutes and it is just perfect it tastes full it tastes delicious it doesn't taste weak it doesn't taste too strong you can get that yummy caramel apple taste which isn't uh, because it is natural and I don't know why but it doesn't have that like a fake flavor like an artificial flavor would you know and I just let it sit open instead of covering it because after that it's ready to drink. If not, it would be way too hot. So this is my tea cabinet. I went with to the right of the stove because when I make my tea, I'm just over here. And I uh, put my cups over there because then I'm gonna get a, if someone's gonna get a drink from the refrigerator or something, they don't mind just going there to get a cup. It doesn't have to be right here above the counter. I bought this from Minara from the same company. Uh, I buy it online through the actual website. I used to buy it through iHerb or a place like that, or maybe even Amazon, but it's pretty good price, maybe like $6 a 10 from the actual website. I have, <laughs> guess what kind of tea this is, you guys? Guess, come on, come on, come on. Jasmine tea. <laughs> and uh, I don't even know what's in here right now. Oh, I think it's more red tea, the Ruibos. I love this because it's shaped like a bamboo. I don't know where we got that from, but. Um, I have a tea bonnet container back here that has, oh, chamomile in it. I actually buy the whole chamomile flowers. Mm, that smells so good. See? A whole one pound bag full. And when you make a cup of tea, actually I make Minara cup and I'll show you how to do it. So, got Minara's cup. We have one of these tea things here from Tivana. They sit in a cup like that. So what you do is you take a spoon. I'm going to use this plastic spoon. You take a, a heaping, as, as heaping as you can, spoonful, ah, you want it to be really heaping, of the leaves, of the tea flowers, the flowers, put it in there, and you steep that for two minutes, two, that is it, because it steeps really quickly, and it steeps, uh, it's delicious, there's no caffeine, it's supposed to help you relax and fall asleep, but sometimes, uh, Menard likes mint in it, so I have another one of these containers here, Spearmint, not peppermint, but spearmint. And I just put a little, like, maybe that much, just a teeny in there to give it a little slight minty flavor, which is really good. There's actually a tea bag, maybe it was stash. I'm not quite sure, but it was a caramel tea and, it, and she loved it. And we looked at the ingredients and it was caramel and spearmint. That's where we got the idea from. And when it comes to these teas, I'm gonna show you guys where I got it from because bulk tea is, <laughs> Well, you know, you had to go to a specialty store like a um, spice store or something or Tivana to get bulk tea. It can be really expensive. 
So I get this brand called Frontier, F-R-O-N-T-I-E-R, -E and I've been buying it since 1999 when I worked at Earth Fair in Asheville. And it, it was what they used in their bulk herb department. So they would have all the jars of all kinds of herbs and spices and things like that, and they would use these foil bags, which were 16 ounces, um, to refill it with, and it's Frontier brand, and they have it on Amazon. So I buy a 16 ounce container, I buy it for my spices, my garlic, my every single spice that I use, I buy Frontier, everything, and all kinds of teas, uh, all Frontier. So now that her tea is ready, I'm just gonna put the water in there, and like I said, hers only goes for two minutes, and I actually set the timer, because even if I think I'm not gonna forget, I'll forget. Oh God, I couldn't even see how full it was. <laughs> That's like to the brim. Uh, ooh. Okay, and then of course, since it kind of all sticks to the top, we're gonna stir it up, stir it here, just kind of a little, because it gets, so just kind of like push it down a little. Let that sit for two minutes only. And that sits for five minutes, you guys. I forgot to tell you and I forgot to do the timer. I'd say it's been about two minutes, 19, 21. Let's say 21 after we'll get this. And this, I guess. I don't know. I also put the same amount of sweetener in there. Let me show you the tea that I was talking about now. Here it is. So it is a foil bag and they all come in 16 ounces. Frontier, this is what I get, English breakfast, and it is um, certified organic and they have non-organic, but this is only like, uh, I think maybe it's 18 or 14 or 15 for non-organic, not even 20 for organic, they have Earl Grey, but I'm talking 15 bucks to 20 bucks for a whole entire pound of fresh, delicious black tea. You can't beat that in any stores. And they have it with all spices too, that's what I was saying. Um, they have jasmine tea, they have the chamomile came from there, the spearmint. The only thing about the spearmint is there's a lot of spearmint, which I don't think I'll ever use. I think that's basically it. I do have a thing of hot chocolate back here. I got this from Fresh Market in Asheville last year. I ran out of hot chocolate, but I had tons of cocoa powder. So I mixed my own with sugar and uh, it tastes good. But I did that when I was desperate and didn't have any hot chocolate and a lot of cocoa powder. And that's what I have in my tea cabinet. I have a thing of honey back here. This brand is amazing. Leighton's, Leighton's, whatever. Orange blossom honey from here in Haines City, Florida. It's delicious. It's delicious. You know what? I want to send somebody one of these honeys because it is so amazing. So let's do a little surprise giveaway. Okay? And I will send this. Ew, who would microwave that? to somebody, it's just from right here in Florida and it's delicious. All you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel here on Unscripted Life. And you guys, if you enjoy it, you can, sub you can go like our Facebook page, which is also Unscripted Life, and Instagram, which is unscripted.life. And when you're done, you can comment below that you did those things and that you want to enter. And I don't want to ship that internationally, so US please only, and it'll run for a week from the date this video is aired. And um, I'm going to, oops, it's 22 after, see I forgot. I'm gonna get my tea out, and then we're gonna go over to the storage unit. Another thing before I go is I had some people ask about this thing on the counter, so I'm gonna show it to you guys. It is a metal or whatever rack. It came from Total Wine and More, I believe is the name of it, and they have some wine holders, and I actually really like this one, because I like the way it was. I like how it just sits there, and you can put, what is it, four or six bottles in there, so it's perfect. I can dust it off. But that's what that was, and I think it was only 30 bucks, which is not bad for a wine holder, and it looks great on the counter, and you can just get your, this is the only bottle that has something in it right here. This is good, and these are all empty. Actually, these two bottles are empty. Uh, Trevon had gotten them, and he liked them, and the bottles were cold. But this actually is not empty Tecate, but he bought it because he'd never seen such a giant one before. And it's just kind of like there as a collective thing. It's like a little prop. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our storage room. It's a big one, and it's like $220 a month, and that's a lot. It's air conditioned, but it doesn't feel that cool in here. It it's basically matter. just mostly cool <laughs> our kids' is old toys and stuff and clothes and holiday things. 
and a floor for a house there that's being repaired and refixed, laid down. And we're going to have to go through everything and have everything out of here within a week. So I'm just going to go through it and we're going to take uh, donate all the stuff they don't want and then take the stuff we want back into our garage. But this is what we're going to be working on. Not fun, but needs to be done. But mo like, a lot of this stuff, though, it's is already gone through. Um, yeah, gone through. It's, it's true. Like, like, like but we're bag, not keeping all that stuff because we don't need it. Of stuffed animals that... We used to use a Are you going to keep we all those? Because we went through this last year. Okay. You want to keep everything. I did not. Well, it was me. All the stuff in here you wanted to keep. Well, I, no, I would say a good true. probably 40% like of the stuff is yours. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't keep hardly anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. It's going to be hard. So we're going to work now. And uh, what time is it? Time stamp. 257. 257. Duh! 257. Wow, it's 3 o'clock already. Dang. Go open the trunk and we can start putting uh, Halloween stuff in there. Look, you guys, this is my baby book from Trevon. 21 years ago, okay? Look, it's his ultrasound. There's his little head and body. Oh hey, my where? god. Where's his head? See where it says head? That round thing there. That's his head, oh, his okay, little cheeks, okay. and his mouth. Look, you guys, there he is. Look how adorable. Look at that little face. Isn't it the cutest? Huh? That's my mom holding him on the bottom. That's me. 21 years old on the top. Look, there's his little baby feet and his thing from the hospital. 4, 5, 96. 10, 27 p.m. 7 pounds, 6 ounces. 13 half inches. Yeah, fat baby. So that's about as big as Look. Zara. This is so sweet. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Do you have one of these for me? Yeah. Look how He's cute. So cute. His hair was straight until he turned eight months old and it just curled up on top. <laughs> so cute. It's like how if you have a dog, it's patterns mm -hmm. will go after a certain Yep. Month. There he was when he was just born, right there. In SFW. <laughs> Not view. I just says, what is this bag of medicine bottles and these papers? And this is what Minara says. Because I had when no I idea. When I was younger, I used, to, uh, I used to have pet ants. Like, I would go outside and I'd take it, I'd get an ant, and I'd put it in here, and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. I'm thinking, this, this fish really in this in one. No, these these are just the fishies I put in here. Why'd you put fishies in there? Because they're cute. Oh, fishies Duh. in medicine bottles? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I would put them in here with, like, a leaf and, like, a piece of, like, cricket food or something. Because we used to have crickets. Oh, yeah, I you're right. I used to keep pet crickets, too. And, uh, For our then frogs. it died, and I never knew why. Hmm. I figure you know why now. Oh, poor little ants. Well, they get steps on all the time, they, but uh, now you know they couldn't breathe, right? They couldn't breathe, and I didn't, when I was a kid, I didn't think about that, okay? <laughs> At all. I'm sure everybody has some kind of similar story from when you were little, right? Where you accidentally killed bad. something. No, what's or... something that makes me feel bad to this day hmm. is that I killed this love bug one time. It was Zarius' love bug, and I was it's threatening true. him. I was like, because he, he put something on like my LPS. I was like, you better not do that, I'll kill you love bug. And I was obviously joking. I was like, it's totally a joke. I would never do that my whole life. And I and I made a joke and I hit next to it? it like this, right? To joke. And it moved it at the last <laughs> second. I never felt so bad That's my entire terrible. life. Oh, sorry, I poor felt little so love bug. And I, I, I feel bad to this day. Oh my god, that's it's terrible. Like the most horrible accident. We don't need a dog leash, right? Like a regular dog leash? I'm gonna walk my cat. Holy cow, look what I just found. Hello? Look at all these cool oh my god. All y'all's Pokemon collection. Those are all Pokemon figures. Oh, I would like. Oh, wow. I found a little craft Grammy made. Oh, you can clip it on your curtains or something. I was saying, maybe put it on the fridge, but you know. It's not a magnet, but yeah. I mean, you can, you can, what you can make do it a magnet. Is you can take one of those little pictures and you could clip it onto the bottom. That's a good idea. Sure, It'll let's like do that. Lay that in my keep box over there, please, on the bottom so it doesn't get squished. Quality drawing here of a Furby. Oh. <laughs> that's like, that's that easy. I know. That's Ooh. my easy. That's, that's Grammy. Grammy. Oh, you Zarius. Of Zarius? Yeah. Wait a minute. I remember that. Still. Let me see, Zara. Look at me. Look at me now. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like your haircut. It's the <laughs> kazoo kid's haircut. Oh, it's sad. I always drew angsty stuff ever since I was like... Two. Angsty? Oh. Angsty. You don't want to call a duty PlayStation case, right? Holy cow, look what I found. That's how big the game disc used to be? 
Uh, they stuck wait, out like that? <gasps> it's a whole square. I used to have a ham taro one that I used to put they all the They stick time. out that much? Wow. It still works, probably. Yeah. It worked until the day yeah, I put it works. in here. Yeah, it works. Looks charger, but... And it was in little black and white, and you turn it on, and you could never see anything unless it was daylight out, so you can't ever play at nighttime, because there's no light on the screen. Look what I found, Minari, your autograph book. What? It has all of us in your family had signed it, even Grammy. Look at Grammy! I can get that tattoo. You can... Look, Stitch. Stitch. Here's... Who's that? Lilo. <gasps> Goofy. Goofy. Green army That's man. cool. Play with tail. Flick. Flick. Oh. Oh, it's so oh cute. Look God. at the ear. Poo. Oh. Tigger. It's all jumpy. Oh, that's so cute. Stormtrooper. <gasps> you got a Stormtrooper yeah, from Star Wars Weekend. Oh Look, she has a Stormtrooper autograph, Star. TK, what, 62? Mickey oh. Moose. <laughs> Wait, oh. what did I say? It's a mouse. I know it's Perla? A mouse, Amy. Perla? Who's that? Is that the little uh, mouse from Cinderella? Is it? I think it is. And that's wait, is that it? Wait, there's something else. Buzz. Does that say Buzz? Yeah. That's not a B. Well, it has to be. Poo again. Poo. Another tiger again. Eeyore. Eeyore again. Ha, ah, his is cute. They are hit it backwards. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. I'm saying things wrong on purpose. I forgot that people don't understand. It's funny. Geppetto. Geppetto. Wow. Dang. Pinocchio. Oh, I got one from... Uh, the Rock Hopper. When that, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Remember when Puffles used to be a thing? Yeah. Green Iron Man yeah. again. Green Iron Man again. <laughs> See, I, cool. I didn't care if I had doubles. Yeah, I who always, cares? That's another one. What is that? Eeyore. No. Let's no. Again. It's a something raider. What's those things called? T Tuscan raider. Tuscan raider from Star Wars Weekend. Hey, that's pretty that's cool. cool. You know, if you don't want to keep the book, which you should, you could even take it out and make something on the wall with it or something. <gasps> Darth Maul. We had to wait a long time to that get a signature. Yeah, that is cool. That she has really... Darth Maul signatures are. Like the real Darth Maul. The real Darth Maul? Yes. Yeah. Okay, what's his acting? Darth Maul. Look, fun stop things from the kids. Kid caught fun stop. This one's written on. Minara. Look, ciao, Minara from Italy. Ciao. That's cool. Nice. Nice. Is that mine? Yeah. It's nine o'clock. We're exhausted. We've been working solid. It's like we haven't done anything. We just Six put hours. But that's not front. true. I went through most of the stuff on the left hand side, and there's just some stuff on the right hand side. But most of the stuff on the left hand side is all not keep. But we can't bring it home or in our car because. There's German roaches. We saw the real kind of roaches, like the bad kind of roaches, and we don't want them in our house. Well, they're both so what? Because uh, we... the they're the real scary the stuff. Ones. Put this apart. More... Hurry, put it together. Uh, accurately, they're the ones that actually want to be inside the house rather than outside. Right, and I've had this storage room for years, and I've never seen anything in there, but I did right now, and I gotta tell them in the morning. And you can tell they've been in here because yeah. there's poop everywhere. And yeah, like ours, like back. Starbucks is back there. Finish putting that in there. But the thing is, and is that. What to do now? Yeah, there's like. Look okay. where? Just scoot it right in the front. It should fit. Mm hmm. Just squish it right in there. Okay. The thing is, is that I don't want to put that stuff in my car, the trash stuff and the stuff I'm taking to Goodwill, because I don't want one to come out and get in my car. And I'm thinking maybe we can get a bug bomb put in there, or they can get a bug bomb put in there. But this, we have a car full of stuff that I'm taking home. What are you doing? I'll show you. Finish up, guys. The car's full of stuff we're taking home right here. And the thing is, is we like looked at every single little thing and made sure we didn't bring any cardboard from in there. If it was in a box, we took it out. Um, we had these old post tubs from when we were shoppers, so we we're gonna take it home in this, put it in the boxes in the garage. We're actually gonna get these containers here so we organize and then take these back to the post office. And uh, we have the really fragile stuff up here we're gonna have to hand take, but yeah, I'm coming. We're headed home now. Everybody's asking about Sebi. Where's Sebi? Where's Sebi? Well, here's Sebi. She's big. She's a turd, okay? Like, she's a good cat, but she's very... She reminds me of my Siamese, or uh, my dad's Siamese he had. She's very finicky. Look at her paws when you're holding her. She, she likes to be held when she likes to be held. She doesn't like to be held when she doesn't want to be held. And she's been getting on the sinks and the cabinets. 
She, it's like she fights it, but she loves it, and she falls yeah, asleep, because, and she's happy. Because look at her old tail. It's going like a million miles per hour. She's getting perturbed right now. Usually she just falls asleep, but if she does this, we just put her down. But it's hard because we want to hold her so we. she's like, holy cat. Let's put her down before she gets really mad. Okay, you guys, I haven't talked to you in two days. Bless you. So today is Monday, the day you're watching this video, and we went to storage this last day I talked to you on Saturday. So we were there for six hours, I think it was. It was the day you guys know because you just watched the video. And yesterday we went back again for around the same amount of time. We're almost completely finished. We just have this one little pile. It took us way longer than we thought because, remember, we saw German cockroaches. I don't even want to say that name. I get goosebumps everywhere. Wait, I'm having a flash of goosebumps right now. American cockroaches. Zara saw a giant rat. It was and then what else was one more thing? Oh, we saw an earwig. What's it called? The rat wasn't inside the unit. It was outside. It was outside the door, so. Yeah, and there's big like rat trap things outside, Maybe. but. So we're almost done there. And basically what we had to do was we had to, instead of just taking a box of stuff we wanted, even like a, a game, a Monopoly game, we'd have to photo albums, everything. We, have to ta we had a table set up and we'd dump out the entire game box like shake the box real good to make sure there's nothing in it, look in it, shake out all the stuff, put it back in, then immediately put it in the van so nothing could get in it because we don't want any bugs here and especially what I call the real roaches that I haven't seen ever in a house and I don't want them. They're like my biggest fear and it's one of the reasons I didn't want to move to Florida because everybody says there's roaches everywhere. My dad used to say he grew up in Fort Lauderdale, he said there's roaches everywhere. Even if you have a mansion, you have roaches. You turn on the light in the middle of the night and it's black and they just go... Anyway, that's why I didn't want to go to Florida, that and the heat. So anyway, I don't want roaches, so we were very, very careful with that. Um, put it all in the garage. I was wondering if I should get like a bug bomb and put it in the garage just in case. It's a good idea, huh? Maybe, why not? Um, actually, they're coming to spray f like a termin Terminator. <laughs> What's it called? An exterminator is coming Wednesday anyway, just because the new house has been sitting a couple months and I, and I just want to have it done. They're going to terminate house. anything that's in here. But we haven't seen anything so far, so that's good. <laughs> have we seen it? Menara saw a spider, I think. Um, anyway, I haven't. Seen spiders, but also I haven't. The front door, which, you know, the that's true. Um, today I am going over to the other house to um, edit videos. That's what I'm going to be doing all day over there and answer emails because we still don't have internet here for like two more entire weeks. Thank goodness that we still have the other house to use the internet on. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. And tomorrow, I think, you better be ready for this, Menara! I would like to go to Volcano Bay tomorrow, as long as the weather's good. And I've never been, and they've never been, and of course we'll be bringing you guys if we go, but that's what we're crossing our fingers for. Uh, I was just making tea, and now I'm going to make hamburgers, and... And now I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese. Zara's making mac and cheese, and then we're gonna have our food for the day, and we're gonna go... What are you doing over there? That way it has a little taste of onion. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I just usually salt mine. Mm -hmm. And I was in a hurry, so I'm telling you the best thing is a hamburger with a little salt on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You like a little. I'm like that lady with the two shots of drink. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> oh, thank you. Which one's yours? No, Just do it to all of them. No, Which she likes it too. Everybody likes it. Just pepper all of them. And you want the onion and the garlic? With how much comes out? Yeah, it's slow because you don't want too much on there. Don't put it on the floor. I'm going to do that. Here. Garlic and onion. There you go. And I'm going to drink my tea. Oh, I love my tea. Hi. I have to get used to this burner. I had on six, which usually six is fine, but it totally kind of like burnt them up on top. And yeah, he's, what did he say? I said, and I quote, this burner is just from the last count. Screw that up. The higher you have it on, anything above like three will be like three. Boil water. Then how come it takes me 10 minutes to boil a pot of water? Because for some reason it looks like the, the little burner I have less power than the... Oh. Well, I'm not going to be really mad. Oh, well. Dang it. You already can't see. 
So Marshmallow is afraid. He is a fear of smoke for some reason, even though no one ever smoked in here. And when I turn the fan on high, he freaks out, and that's why he's whining. He, he wants out, and there's nowhere for him to go. Let me go get him. Three. That's what Zarius has it on. It clicks perfectly. Three. What I said. I used to do it in on five or six. I told you. Wow. Good job. Except for the water. But you guys have to put a big pan, a little pan on a big burner for the ruined pan. I know. That's why it's going to take a little longer. Okay. You know what I'm doing with an orange, right? Yeah. Now put a little pan on a big orange. burner. So here. <laughs> Wow, don't these look delicious. Guess which ones I'm eating. Ready for this? The burnt ones. One. I eat the darkest ones because A, I like it. B, I'm the mom and I want to make everybody happy. <laughs> oh my God, it's that is so delicious. So basically it's like a win-win situation. Yeah. Mmm, that's just good stuff. That's not burnt, that's like good crunchy, like kind of. Mmm. Dang, that's good. And now what you do on this side again. And a you little take, salt? You take the salt in your hand. What you gotta do with the thing? <laughs> I'm not good at that. Neither am I. <laughs> I season it once more, just a little bit more. My extra sun's in it there. Wow. Let that salt just like fry in the pan. Yeah. Give me more work to do. <laughs> uh. A little more. Garlic or is it onion? I don't think you need to put those spices on both sides, do you? Yes, you do. Oh, yours is going to be good. That way, whenever you bite into it, it's going to taste like meat and spices. It's going to taste mm. the best. I think better than all yours. I just like meat with, with uh, uh, salt. Cheers, everyone. Cheerio. I That's love gross. making. Okay. That's gross. Squeezy noises when I go get the phone. I love it, okay? It's like I like blowing straw. I love making paper disgusting, like this. disgusting noise or whatever. Maddie's Come ketchup on. and pickles. Don't do that. You should have a crap out of me. You might make her drop my camera. Uh, do you want pickles on it, Zar? No. So, no pickles on yours? There is your delicious sandwich buns. Ew. You know, you go to Burger King or Wendy's or McDonald's and you try to order something that's a little different than normal, and I've been having, it's getting worse lately. It's getting worse. A week or so ago, I ordered sandwiches from Nara, and we couldn't eat them. Well, you just, we had to give them to a homeless man on the side of the road. I was kind of confident you not saying it's true. sandwich. Thing is that it's the one. So you know what happened? The one. What? Mayonnaise sandwich with bread. That's what Zara got yesterday. So you order, we order extra. They like their big chickens with no lettuce. I don't eat McChickens. Whatever. I eat Wendy's chicken, sandwiches chicken, and only chicken. Wendy's sandwiches. It's a fried chicken sandwich. They eat their fried chicken sandwiches with only extra mayo, nothing else. So every time we ask for extra mayo, we never get freaking extra mayo. But the one time Javon got so I mean, much mayonnaise, I never in my life. I mean, this was sitting on his sandwich like this. It was, good, but it's like white colored mayonnaise. Put it in there, and I will have free mayonnaise. It was dripping off the sides. His was like that yesterday. It was probably more than a dollar's worth of mayo. Yeah. And then um, I ordered, I went to Wendy's yesterday and I got a, what's their little junior cheeseburger with everything normal, but add extra ketchup and add mayonnaise. And I go, wait, out front. Ooh, that looks good, thank you. Wait a second, are those not mine, Zara? No. Those are mine. Why are the other ones burnt? That's not funny. Excuse me. You know I don't eat burnt sandwiches. Mm. Sandwiches, again. Very flavorful, but not cooked enough for me. So listen. I That's wait so outside weird. for my sandwich for like five minutes and they bring me my okay, hamburger and all it has on it is, is it gobs good? and gobs and gobs and gobs of ketchup. Is Nothing it else. Well, is it good at least? It's very delicious. And no, next thing, Minara went to the Wendy's drive-thru and she ordered her chicken sandwiches with no lettuce, extra mayonnaise, and they gave her a sandwich and instead of mayo, they added tomato. They added tomato. And we got going and we saw that. And so I pulled back up and I told them, and I said, please don't just take the tomato off because Minara is, does not like tomato and you get a little tomato Ew. seeds Yo, and stuff on it. Seeds. She likes tomato, she's not like onion. Yeah, and so when the window was open, we could hear the person on the grill just going at it. She was mad. It was a hey. guy, it was a guy. It sounded like a lady. Going really mad. Going super saiyan, going mad. 
cussing. I mean, just like really unprofessional. Then they give us their sandwiches back, and guess what? It has mayonnaise poo on it. Yeah. I mean, tomato poo. You know all the little tomato, all tomato seeds, seeds and stuff on it? And then I'm thinking, yeah, it probably has spit or something. Because that person I ever heard in my life, someone so mad. Mayo, mayo, tomato, mayo. Like you could hear it in there. So I'm not going to eat sandwich. I don't want to go back in because the same person would be making it. And yeah, they could really spit in your food. Don't you wish you could be so fast and make it how you like it? Fast food made. And so we were driving down the road and I was mad because I just wasted my money and I was frustrated because I couldn't make a sandwich right. And there was a guy on the side of the road that was starving to death. And he just said, hey, you want it? There's it like was two, made right for two us. sandwiches. And he says, oh, thank you. And he took it. They always so. say, God bless you. God bless. Yeah. Don't speak. I'm having some of Trevon's Coca-Cola. Look, the other, uh, last week, we went to the Improv Comedy Club in Orlando, which is really cool. They have a lot of people uh, come there, like, what do they call it? Like, guest comedians. And guess who I saw? It was out of nowhere. Trevon just like, hey, we were watching a movie at 9 o'clock at night. He goes, you want to go see Mencia? I'm like, yeah. So we got ready. We drove out to Orlando. We watched it. His friend he works with got him tickets. The front row, man. We were right there at the stage, a table for two. Boom. Mencia, it was awesome. It was awesome. And then his friend says, you ready? That he was going to invite us to dinner with him and Mencia. He's the manager for, like, the tour manager for Mencia that he works with at Universal part time. And um, he says he was going to invite us to dinner with Mencia afterwards, but he didn't. I'm sitting here like, why not? Don't even tell me that. Why did you, why did you, I wanted to go. Mencia's awesome. It was the best. So anyway, I got a drink and it came in a cup. He does funny comedy. He makes a lot of jokes about, um, well, he makes jokes about different races and stuff, which it's, it's funny. He's really funny. Okay? Well, I, I think, he um, made jokes about rich people and he made jokes about um, Trump. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. He made all kinds of jokes. <laughs> it was 18 up, so I, 21 up, so I couldn't bring the kids.